Morning, everybody. Do I cook you back? Now, Chantal's want eating. Ooh, once again. And um, what are we having today? Subway, tuna and ketchup. Chips. Lunch. So we've got Subway. So this is an attempt to be healthy, I'm sure. But anyway, let's see what she's up to. I'm riveted. Edge of my seat, I am. Let's go. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Well, hello there. Salam alaikum. Hi. I thought uh, before I would start my day, I would have an early lunch with you guys. So. Oh, wow. So we've moved on to diet soda, which is great because I like, um, I like Zero Coke or Coke Zero, whatever you want to call it. And I do like Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max I like better. So what have we got? We've got some napkins. Great. No mess to be seen today, I'm sure. Um... A sandwich that we can see. And what's in the other bag? Oh, that'll be the chips. That'll be the fries. Okay, so where's the other sandwich, Fiddy? Where are you hiding it? Where have you tucked it away? Is it in the abaya? Is it in the hijab? Is that why one side's a bit lumpier than the other? Okay, we don't seem to have a creeping Julia yet. Fantastic. Off we go. I got some Subway. The glass of ice. <laughs> you know Bars. me. And I'm going to have. You might hear my cat growling in the background because she's. Oh, she's there. Whoa. Oh you want god. The cat, don't you? No, you have your mouse. We just spent forever digging toys from under the couch and other places, so you can have them. That's why she's hyper. She's happy. When she says we, she says she means Sala. Because. Foodie can barely stand and barely sit down. There's no way this one is lying face down on the floor, reaching underneath that sofa to grab anything else out. Broom, dustpan and brush, whatever. She didn't do it. Sala did. Stop. She's not nearly red enough to have done that job. Miss Miller. Why are you mesmerized by the bubbles? You're so funny. By the way, I brush her literally every single day. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Salah's so out doing some work and I am... I'm alone so I can eat enormous amounts of food and he can't bitch and moan at me. He'll just find the packaging later. But that's okay. I'm just going to eat and eat. I want to know what the other sandwich is. Does she get two of the same flavour when she buys extra or does she get something completely different? I need to know. I'm alone right now. Um, he's gonna pick me up after, so I have to. Oh, hundred percent. She got an extra sandwich. That's a six incher. Now she's just playing with us. She's toying with our emotions. I cannot do too long of a video. I have things to do first. <gasps> Can't get caught. And um, yeah, we have some things to do. So some things to take care of. They're not even hot fries. They are just ketchup flavored chips. We have tomato flavoured chips in Australia. They're called Atomic Tomato. They're done by Samboy. You used to be able to get them all the time, but you hardly see them anymore, but they're still available. They're really, really nice. They're a bit vinegary, and they've got like a tomato, not tomato saucy flavour, but like a savoury flavour. It's hard to describe, but they are a little bit vinegary as well. So this, I, I, these are the best ketchup chips. I don't know if you guys in the corner of your world, if you have ketchup chips, we did have them in Canada. They were one of my favorite. I would say behind Del Pickle, ketchup is my favorite. But these are Hector's kettle chips and they're ketchup flavor and they're so delicious. So Yum. Like that, that's like portion controlled. So I have a tuna sub with pickles, olives. No, it's not portion controlled, sweetheart. You've got about five serves of chips there because that's how many you usually have. It's usually about... Oh, it depends on the brand, but it can be anywhere between five to six chips per serve for a serve. So that is not one portion. It should be considered one portion and they shouldn't lie to you and pretend that there's more than one por less than one portion in a packet. But, but they want the calories to look less. So they make the portions seem really, really small so that you don't be like, oh my God, 300 calories for one serving. I'm not eating those. No, they want you to think it's only like 50 or 60 per serve so that you do eat them. Not realizing that you've actually eaten six. Lettuce, mayo, Southwest, and uh, hot sauce. And a Coke Zero. 
so yeah so all that to say julia is not usually he puts her in the room with him until i'm done my video all right beauty bite couple of things we do have the crunch but we don't have the slop so that's good it's not drippy with sauce but we are gonna hear some aggressive crunching so if you do have misophonia or you're just a human being with a reflex a gag reflex and you hate crunching hold on to your seats put your seat belt on hold on to the seat put your trays up and get ready Um, I see people wondering, like, where, where's your husband? Where's your husband? <laughs> he's, he's like, I, I don't know why people ask this, because he's never in my videos. He's never in my mukbangs. Did you bring me the, she brought me the free Love Playful Pets. Mm. Just as a warning, I try to cut the cats out as much as possible, because no, she doesn't deserve to have cats. After the way she treated BBJ and Sam, she doesn't deserve to have cats. And I do not like the fact that she's now got another one and she tries to pretend like BBJ and Sam's situation never happened. She never did those things. She's the perfect cat mum. I hate it. So I try to cut it out as much as possible. It's not because I don't like cats myself and I don't like poor Julia who was just minding her own business on the street and then scooped up by the big puppet-handed waffle monster that we see before us. No, it's got nothing to do with Julia. It's all about foodie and her shenanigans and fakery. I don't want to participate. The tuna with the hot sauce, another level. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, you have to bring it back to me. Thing on my body. Like, for real. <laughs> oh, we've dropped on the shirt. Look at the shirt. I'll be sleeping. And she'll do this whiny cry. Like... So that went straight onto the carpet. What What do you think? How many people think she's got a drop cloth underneath her? The whiniest cry I ever heard. And then she'll come and sleep on my body. Most cats do that. And I've discovered why. It's because it reminds them of their mother. If they make those little bready donut needy things on you, it's because they think you're they're your mother. They are heat-seeking missiles. They will go wherever it is warmest. Yes, even in the Kuwaiti heat, especially if you have the air conditioner cranked up to 16 degrees in that place, she's going to be looking somewhere warm. And because they love us, they love us. And she probably just thinks you're another couch. So, you know, whatever. Mm. I love tuna subs. Mm hmm. Fantastic. My favorite kind of subs. I like tuna, the meatball one. Mm hmm. Food, moving. They don't have cold cut trio here, but that is no. my favorite. How long is this? Oh, God, it's going to be 16 minutes of food talk. Wow. So I hope that um, you're all doing well. No, you don't. Sometimes I, like, really think, like, wow. To me, like, for a lot of people, it might not look like a lot of views. Like, if my video gets 8 views, like, 8,000 views. That's 8,000 people. Who knows from what walks of life they're coming from. Uh, no, that's not 8,000 people. It's not 8,000 people. It's 8,000 views. That means maybe 4,000 or 6,000 people are popping in and out. They watched enough of it to count as a view. They could have dipped out at the two-minute mark. You still get the view counted. Or it's the same person coming back and re-watching or starting again. It's not 8,000 individual people. It's just 8,000 views. Mm. Oh, this is the non-sloppy Abaya. She can't wear anything sloppy in this one. She's probably figured this out by now because it's got the dangly fringe on the corner. Let me see if I can get a bit. See how it's got the fringing on it? That is that is anti-soup, anti-sloppy dressing attire. This is for dry only because that's going to get dragged in whatever she she's eating. So she's now 
dressing according to the meal. Fantastic. Great strategy. You know, I know the majority of my audience is American. And I know people think that I hate Americans. Like, you do. That's so not true. <laughs> that's so not true. Not, not every person. They're, like, not, there's no country. No, she only says things to antagonize an audience when something terrible has gone on and they're trying to stop her from acting poorly. And then she starts accusing an entire nation for the actions of some maniacal idiots but decides to tell an entire nation it's their fault some of their children were um taken away from them and that they should give those said children over to her if they can't take care of them properly because they are compelled to send them to school but she doesn't hate america she just wanted to be provocative in that moment but she doesn't hate America. She loves America. She loves their food. That's for sure. That's all full of bad people. Like every country has people who are good and people who are not so good. And that's you. Oh, look at Julia's big old fat head sitting in the way there. Okay. That's brilliant. Oh, look at a little... Most people don't biscuits. define the entire country, you know? Um, so... Who but let's, you don't focus so much on how much you hate America anymore. You had to my... Oh, excuse me. I had your moments, but you focus more on how much you dislike Canada at the moment. Your hometown, your home country. That's the one that you dislike the most. You always seem to have some place that you're hating on. But Canada's the worst. It's got drunk people just strolling and stumbling down the street. Crackheads everywhere. The government knocking on your door looking for taxes to take away and give you no services back in return. Canada seems to be a hellscape that you've created now, not America. I love my followers. But I want to wish you well, and I want to, like, say that I'm praying for those of you who affected by the hurricane, Hillary. Um, I hear things are getting bad, and, like, the storm is heading towards California. Ah, sauce. Keep the sauce there. Keep it there. Yep. And my heart goes up to you guys, and I want to let you know that you're in my thoughts. She didn't think... No, they're not. She's thinking about those chips. That's what she's thinking about. That's scary. I think I read that. It's like the first time that a hurricane will touch down in California ever or something, eh? Her heart goes out to them, but she doesn't exactly know when, where, or what's going on. But her heart goes out to them. To be honest, because I haven't watched the news, and I don't watch a lot of news because it's very triggering for me, I didn't even know that there was a hurricane potentially in the California area. So if there is, I am now informed, thank you, to foodie and for anybody affected by that i do hope that you're safe that you've got your kits and if it has already landed in the time that i'm watching this i hope you were safe your family was safe and everybody's turned out okay and that is genuine uh, storms are very scary and i hope the kid is okay because storms are very scary for kids and can be very traumatic but i hope everyone came out unscathed and if you are amongst it and it's not yet hit get somewhere safe have lots of stocks i suppose people are going mad for water and batteries and all that good stuff right now oh storms are scary storms are scary correct me if i'm wrong but oh more droppage more crumbs you should brush them onto the floor yep yeah. I'm, I'm praying for all my Kelly Beezers. Mm hmm. And I think I have quite a few. Oh, the crunch. Ugh. Drops. More crumbs. Eh, eh, eh. Brush it off. Brush, 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 brush. Oh, do you not see yeah. it?
Dirty. Yep, we know. Yesterday, I washed all my bios. Oh, at once? I washed them separate. Look at me. Wait a minute. So does that mean that she does a wash once every week? You know what? She doesn't have kids. She doesn't have a job. She can do a washing whenever she wants. You know, whenever she wants. So I'm not even going to criticise that. Holding. <laughs> They're already dirty again. Because mm -hmm. you've worn yeah, them. I'm going to tuna. Who thinks that foodie gets two or three wears out of her buyers before she washes them? As dirty and gross and as sweaty as she is, who thinks she doesn't wash them after every wear? Because I know that I don't wear clothes for more than a day. One wear, especially if it's I'm sweaty in it, it's off, it's in the wash, gets washed. But who thinks this one tries to push at least two to three wears out of it? Spills and stains regardless because i did even notice on that khaki um hijab that she wore the other day she had a little little water stain oil stain dribble stain could have been a sauce stain she may have eaten something before she started the taco bell she may have eaten the first meal before that whole chick uh, crunchy supreme wrap thingy but she's always got dribble marks on her shirts or on her hijabs but i think it's because she gets two or three wears out of them I don't, I don't think she attempts to wash them before coming back on camera again, i.e. the makeup stain. Maybe I already do. <laughs> Howie is currently. No, we don't care what Howie's doing no. right now. Where's the in Howie's room? No. Nope. Bring it to the kitchen, put in some fresh cucumber. Oh, sorry, the machine knows. Ooh, and sniffling from the hot sauce. Um... A cucumber, whatever fresh fruit I have. Right now I have some watermelon mm. and some fresh dates. So I just put a little, little bit with his kibble. No. I have a little bag of uh, peanuts. No. For me to get the peanuts. No. And he stuffs a couple in his cheeks. He no. loves it. And I hide them in the... No. Don't have a mansion for him. No. I like his cage after a few hours, I find. No. I mean, you know. <laughs> after him, I don't think I'll get another rodent. Um, I do feel bad that they have to live in a cage. And like I said, I just don't have the capacity or the... You knew that when you got him, though, that he would have to live in a cage. Oh, she's feeling bad now because she's got to keep him mostly in the cage because now they've got Julia. Because before Julia, the hamster could be running free, could run rot shot, rough shot over that entire place. But now that they have Julia and she clearly, with the types of toys that she plays with, and the way that she runs around, because she's still a baby, she's still a kitten, according to Foodie, has high prey drive, so she plays with everything. So if she was even to come close or accidentally run into a rodent, and they like to get under things and escape, he'd be done for. So she needs to keep him mostly in the cage. And she's starting to feel a bit guilty, because she knows it's not good for him. means to really build him a whole, you know, uh, hamster mansion, so I think I'll just uh, let him run around. Okay. <laughs> she's so cute yeah um anyway that's it yeah not just that but they're just i don't know no it's just better with animals i, I don't know how no. to do it. anyways guys that was it for my lunch i better go oh shorter video today i apologize but uh yeah so i think i'll just do a shameless live person plug here for my cameo no um whatever i've got a lot of those requests no well isn't she just a boring human Boring human. Just just a nothingness. I mean, the food talk, that's really dumb. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that there are beasts out there who love to know about Harry and all that shenanigans and the ins and outs of Julia's behaviour. I mean, that's animal content. People love that stuff. I'm not here for it coming from foodie. For anybody else, I'd love to sit down and listen to what their little babies are doing. But as far as foodie goes, they're prisoners under her watch. That's what I believe. Anyway, if you like this one, see what the thing says, subscribe. Or like, or comment. Do what you want. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye, guys.